Gandalf, Mr. Potter, I really enjoy your last few um, real estate content. Lots of wisdom there. Yeah, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. <laughs> like, incredible stuff. One tid tidbit of information. Uh, here, let me get this going. And I'll show you guys a little bit of... Because I'm consuming a fair bit of information regarding uh, economics as well as politics, right? And a lot of stuff, esoteric stuff, going down rabbit holes and whatnot. Because there's a lot of movements happening, right? There's a lot of movements happening in a lot of markets. A lot of markets, right? So, uh, the realtors, uh, uh, retail sector is getting hard, hit hard. The consumer sector is getting hit hard. Like Dollar General and Dollar Stores, are their stocks have completely crumbled. Like uh, DG, which is uh, Dollar General, or whatever it is. Um, I follow Dollar Tree and Dollar General. Uh, Dollar G General, DG. Uh, the stocks come down from like $240 down to $80. It was down $79. It was bouncing off the bottom. It's pretty much bottom. Almost thought about buying it, but not yet because October coming up, right? Um, Dollar Tree, same deal. Down to like 60 bucks, 65 bucks and stuff like this. Uh, NVIDIA's hit the peak and a lot of movement all over the place, right? The mining sector came down, which is weird because, because gold is hitting all-time highs and silver is breaking out again right so there's a lot of stuff happening and the real estate market is on under serious pressure centralized power doesn't know what to do right todd in the minnesota salutations thank you very much for the tier one sub salute 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 welcome to our live stream Todd. so there's a lot of pressure in the real estate market uh japan is going boop, 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 right germany's poof walks back and pulling out <laughs> <laughs> or at least closing one factory, right? So Europe is in deep poop. Uh, Dugari or whatever, the Italian EU, EU globalist came out and said, yes, Europe is in deep poop, right? But so we need to sell bonds. They <laughs> need to get more in debt. It's not going to save them. All this jazz, right? But one tip, little bit of information. And as you know, I've been recommending gold and silver hardcore for last three years maybe like I, I was recommending before but i went pretty hardcore on gold and silver for the last three years right um but one little bit of information that came out which uh, i didn't i was aware of it but i wasn't sure how they were going to play it and i can't remember who the person was and he got it from someone else so the, the the information is out there that's why gold is doing serious moves is because uh we're going decentralization right I keep on talking, the screams on going out during the lighting process. So we're going decentralization to a certain degree. We're going to a multipolar world. And with the United States, the brilliant Bidenomics and the Biden administration kicking Russia off the SWIFT system, it showed to the world that no one, no one is immune from the United States using the dollar as a weapon. Right. They did it with, you know, sanctions up to yin yang with Cuba, Iran, Venezuela. People thought, OK, they're isolated companies or this type of regime, that type of regime, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. They never thought. Like lighting a campfire, right? You gotta give it the oxygen. They never thought that they would pull this kind of sanction stuff on a global superpower. The number one superpower in the world, by the way. Uh, not number one, number two, super, don't win like this. number two superpower in the world in regards to what they can do, right? There's three superpowers, United States, China, and Russia. A lot of people say United States, number one, and China fighting it off, number one. Whichever way you look at it, Russia's number two, right? If China's number one, Russia's number two. If U.S. is number one, Russia's number two. 
Because if China is not number one, then United States is number one and Russia has to be number two because what feeds the Chinese economy is Russia and stuff like this. There's a lot of stuff associated with it, right? But I consider Russia to be the solid number number two world power, right? Global world power. And the United States and Europe, they try to wage economic warfare on Russia and collapse it economically. The Ukrainian kinetic war on the ground was a secondary compared to the economic warfare that was they were waging against it and they used the US dollar as a weapon with kicking them off the swift system sanctions up the yin yang 12 sanctions 13 sanctions from Europe and the United States and whatnot right so what that did it kicked BRICS into hyperdrive BRICS nation into hyperdrive and every other nation in the world going man if they're doing this to Russia attempting to do this to Russia they could do it to anyone we need to find alternative sources alternative means to conduct business by the way apologies for not reading the chat I just want to get this done right this part so it kicked BRICS into hyperdrive right to a level where I think there's like 10 BRICS members right now Initially, it was uh, Brazil, Russia, South America, China, and uh, India, right? And now, now there's 10 members, and there's a lineup of people trying to get in. But they've said they're not going to increase the number of members until they sort some things out. What are they trying to figure out? They're trying to figure out how to conduct business outside of the U.S. dollar because they have to, right? Because if we don't, if you don't control the means for you to conduct business, if someone else can come along, especially your enemy, now that we know, come along and cut your ability to do conduct business, then you're a slave. You don't you don't own nothing, right? Even if you may be a person or a country, right? In Canada, they debank Canadians. If they can debank us, right? That means we don't own our own labor, our own money. We're slaves, right? And on a Another level, the United States and Europe try to do this to Russia. And Russia, you don't pick a fight with Russians. Are you nuts? Are you crazy? Everyone knows Afghanistan is the empire killer, and Afghanistan killed the American empire, right? Everyone knows you don't go to try to occupy, invade Iraq. That's the cradle of civilization. Man, empires have come and gone a gazillion times over there, right? And everyone knows you don't wage ground war on Russia in Europe. Never wage, never wage war on Russia. Don't attack Russia. Were you crazy? But they attack Russia on all fronts, right? Now, the BRICS nations got together and said, this unacceptable, unacceptable, because the US dollar was never meant to be used as a weapon, right? So they've kicked this thing into hyperdrive. And now a lot of BRICS nations and other nations are conducting business outside of the US dollar. Right? So basically what it means is if I want to buy something from you, I use Chicho currencies and you give me your product. If you want to buy something from me, if you have a reserve of Chicho currencies, then you can send me back my Chicho currencies and I'll sell you whatever. Right. But if you don't have enough reserve of Chicho currencies, then we have to come to terms with something. We have to come to an agreement that you're going to have to pay for the goods or services that I'm going to provide for you in full. Right. If you don't have enough Chicho currencies, I may accept another currency because I'm doing business with another country or another person. Right. Maybe I'll take wands because I'm doing business with China. Maybe I already have enough wands. Right. I don't need extra wands. So what are we going to settle our trade in? Right. You don't have enough Chicho currencies. Looks like this is the key. Why is gold breaking new highs? Why does gold and silver do gold and silver have a lot more room to grow? From what I understand, I haven't confirmed this, is what the BRICS nations and other nations have decided to do is settle the difference in gold, right? So let's say I sell you $100 worth of goods or services and you only have $80 in future currency. Well, the rest of it, we're going to settle in gold. You're going to pay me the 20% in gold. That means gold is a must for countries to have as an asset as a reserve currency right to settle trades among nations and gigantic corporations I guess right so that's one of the reasons that gold is breaking out 
could do corrections, could do corrections. They might be, they might try to suppress the price on it. But when India's buying gold up the yin yang, China's buying gold up the yin yang, Russia's got gold reserves up the yin yang, any intelligent nation has gold up the yin yang. That doesn't include Canada. We sold all our gold. That's how bad we are, right? Or the politicians are, right? So that's one of the things that I just sort of. I knew it was going to work out some way, but I didn't realize it was going to be the difference. They're going to, and it's easy to do con trade in local currencies, whatever currency they decide on. But to settle the difference in gold is a big deal. Is a big deal, and silver will follow suit. I think. 